what's going on YouTube I'm at it again and in this video I'll be showing you how to get the future of the franchise achievement for Madden 20 um, the step by step for this takes a while and I didn't want this video to be like a half an hour so I went ahead and already start the setup procedure so I am going to still going to go over it briefly with you also I'm using my son's name because I did this in mine so I'm doing this for him okay here's what you guys are gonna do you're gonna go to the regular franchise you'll go to offline you guys will click new and you'll use active roster I already did that already so I'm gonna load up what I did okay Welcome to draft week. All the effort you spend scouting comes okay. down to this. Start the so, draft whenever you're ready. Okay, so <clears throat> now once you come in, you will see, you know, I'm sure some of you have probably ever done this, so you're pretty aware of how all this goes down. Um, you'll see the message from the lady. Well, what you want to do, don't even bother clicking on that. You want to go over to options. And what you want to do to go down to user management. You'll click on that you'll go user teams then in here as you see I am currently using all 32 NFL teams and the way you do that it's very simple as you get in the screen it will show the one team that you pick from the very beginning after you click active roster me I am actually picked the Raiders that's my team so it showed only the Raiders. So to add all the other teams in, you hit Y, new character. Select and, the team you want to join. And like I said, select a new team you want to join. So you have to select one. Keep doing this going back and forth until you have all 32 teams. As you can see, it's just taken by you know, taken by and this is your gamer tag. That way you don't forget who you selected. All you do is just look there because if you didn't select it it won't say taken by gamertag and make sure you have all 32 teams then after that you want to submit simulate Welcome ahead to draft week all the effort you spend scouting comes down to this start the draft whenever you're ready then you want to uh, sim ahead to the draft and what you want to do when you get to that point is you want to start it and hit start the Raiders are now on the clock. You want to pause it. Now on this point here, up top here, you see where it says how Raiders on the clock site. So like I said, I already did the preset up. It will show the first first seven teams. You want to do is you want to take a picture or write down the first seven teams up here. You could take, I take a picture on my phone, or you could just write them down on paper. It's really whatever you prefer. Uh, after you write them all down, you want to, uh, well, after, actually, I messed up. I should have said, before you start the draft, you want to save your game first. Save your game first. Uh, that way you have it. Then you go into the draft to see the seven teams. Write them on paper or take a picture like I did. And then once you know them all, what all first seven teams are, you want to back out of the franchise. Then you want to go and you want to load it up. Welcome to draft week. All the effort you spend scouting comes down to this. Start the draft whenever you're ready. And then after you load it up, leave it like this where it says start draft. You want to go over to team. Go to trade center and this is where it's going to start taking part you go to manual trade and let's just say the bears was the first team you'll go to the bears and then from the bears what you want is their draft picks okay let's pretend up here on top you see let's just say this actually says round one pick one so you'll click on that then you'll hit start then you'll pick yours to what you're going to trade to them then for you you want to go to your draft picks and you'll hit up on the d-pad 
or less stick. Um, what you would want to do is it'll say uh, the f next year's draft, 2021. Pick the bottom, give them the most worst pick ever. Doesn't matter. Example, here we go. Okay, then you hit start, and this shows what's who's getting what. Then you'll hit submit, and you'll offer the trade. And as you can see right here, because because you own or you're 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 the user for every single team, they won't reject your your trade. So after you hit accept, you got that. So then after that. Once you're, you have all of uh, the top, the first seven picks in the first round, then what you want to do is you want to save it again. And then after you save it, you want to back out, load it up, then you want to start the draft. The Raiders are now on the clock. Uh, you can pause it just for the heck of it if you want. It's up to you. And this is what I do. You want to go to... Uh, pick player you want to manually one by one pick it what I always do is I pick the very first guy I have it where on top right says all positions that's what I do and I pick the very first guy him draft the Raiders are now on the clock okay and if you see here on next to the guy I just picked it said says normal right let me right here this you don't want to see actually you actually want to see where it says a question mark and it says hidden trait so I, this is why I say pick all seven just in case some of the guys you do draft don't have that hidden trait you want a few of the guys to have the blue thing with the question mark says hidden where it says normal okay so he don't have it. Okay, so we're gonna go to the second guy. Now what we'll do is we'll do the same thing. Guy on top. Draft. The Raiders are now on the clock. And this guy says normal also. There we go. See that right there? That's what you want to see. Hidden. Okay, that's one. And you want to take the guy. Next guy again. And there's another one. Good. And you're going to keep doing this, guys, until you uh your first seven picks are gone the raiders are now on the clock good another one okay this is pick six so i have this one and the next one the raiders are now on the clock yeah so far when i did this with my name guys like literally i think all seven or six of them had though that blue hidden i got really lucky just with <laughs> my son's name i'm not having that kind of luck and that's just what happens the lions are now on the clock okay now i got another one so now what you do is you back out and now that you see the team who's next so basically you got the picks you need so now what you're gonna do you're going to uh, advance to the end of the draft. And um, once we're done with the end of the draft, what we are going to do next is... Oh, there we go. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the recap, just so you guys, so we all can see what we got, who we got. Um, 
I'm gonna go to first round. And the way to tell who has the hidden traits, I found this easier, so it's just easy to do. You will go over to teams and you go to a, a, adjust lineup. So you go in. Okay. No, I don't do that. Okay. And you see how this guy is highlighted with blue in the background of his picture? That's what you want to see. Okay, so I do see another guy right here that actually we're going to put him on top because you want all the guys to be starters. And this is that I'm going to show you with Antonio Brown. This is what you want after you do the one part. You want this to happen. This is the player card. This is the development right trait. Superstar and superstar. This is the abilities. This player has a zone ability. This is a power. You want that to pop up on one of your rookies. But anyway. So what you have to do here now. We'll look quickly. Look through. All right, so receiver. Okay. So I have um one one, two, three, four, and I got five. So what you gotta do now guys is you gotta remember their positions they play. So we have linebacker, tight end, tackle, wide receiver, and halfback. I know I'm not going to remember all those. I'll probably have to go back. So we're going to go with the offense. Start with offense first. So we got wide receiver, halfback, tight end. Okay. So now what you want to do, you want to go over to your options. Go to slider. Go to XP. Okay. I had a halfback. You want to put them all up to 300. I had a tight end. I had a wide receiver. I remember left tackle and I remember it was a linebacker I don't remember if it was outside or middle so I'll just put both of them up that way I'll have to keep going back okay okay good now also what I always do I set it to all Madden, salary cap off, injuries and pre-existing injuries off. Okay guys, so once you do that, you want to go to advanced week. And you want to force. Start your week by installing your game plan. Okay. Now you want to go to advance week. You want to submit to the mid season. And once you get to regular season, res, regular week four, you want to cancel it. You want to submit ahead. Right now it's preseason going through. But when it gets to regular week four, you want to cancel. That way you can go to the guys, and if they have um, skill points, upgrade them, upgrade them. And then you can also see if they have that. Uh, they need a minimum of uh, 500, 500 downs, I believe it was. That way you can reveal their trait. There we go. And the reason I'm making this video is because I've been seeing a lot of, I Google a lot of things, a lot of games, and I see a lot of people having a hard time asking how, 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 and some people show what we were there for. We hit week, uh, regular season week four, so I hit cancel. Anyway, um, and I see a lot of people asking how or having a hard time, and 
Some people tell them how, some people Start don't. Start week by installing your game plan. They try to explain, but I figure I'll explain and show a video. Okay, so now we're going to go to a team. We'll go to the uh, just lineup. And now we're going to go to those guys. Ah, right here. You see my tight end. Uh, he has the red behind him. Just how Antonio Brown did. Now, this is what we got to do. Okay. And there you go, guys. As you've seen, all you need is one guy out of the seven you pick for that to come up. And as you've seen, the achievement pops up. This whole procedure probably takes maybe... With all the setups and everything else, it probably takes maybe like 40 minutes. But that's the end of this video, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, and if it helped you, hit a like on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, hit the bell notification. And make sure to click. Uh, make sure to click to receive all notifications so you get all my future uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next one.